Frames on cards and scrapbook pages as an accessory are really popular right now, and I want to show you how you can do that with graduating size dies. I'm using the stylus shapes. You're going to choose two closely related die sizes, and you're going to place them on your cardstock. In order to keep them from shifting, I love to use the post-it labeling and cover-up tape. And the great thing is you can reuse these pieces. You can start with either the smaller or the larger shape first. It really doesn't matter. And then you're going to anchor that down to your cardstock so it doesn't move. You're going to take your next shape and you are going to nest it either on the inside or the outside, depending on what you began with. What you're looking for is you're looking for that area between the two dies that's going to create the frame. And then we're going to tack that down as well so that both pieces will not move. Now you're going to pass this through your die cutting machine. Now that it's been disassembled, you're left with that great frame.